no cables, no Chromecast, just your simple laptop screen mirroring your, to your TV. It's a really simple tutorial, so let's just dive right into it. Hey, what is up everybody and thank you so much for watching. So in this short tutorial, I'll teach you how you can screen mirror your laptop to your simple non-Android TV. So in my case, I'm going to be using Samsung. This is a simple non-Android model. It does have a Wi-Fi connection, by the way. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings and make sure your TV is connected to some some sort of Wi-Fi connection. So in my case, I'm going to be using Wi-Fi wi router, but you can use Ethernet cable, mobile hotspot, or even your TV hotspot. So in my case, I'm going to be using my Wi-Fi connection. So if you have if you have if you have done this before, just go to the network status and make sure your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm talking too fast, right? So if you if you've never done this before, just go to network settings and make sure your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi connection. All right, now that's all you have to do. Now you can you can access the screen mirroring on TV uh, using two methods. You can either go to the uh, go to settings, go to the network settings, and uh, go to the screen mirroring option. Or you can do is go to your uh, on your remote control. Just press the source button on your remote control. I'm pretty sure it should be there. So once you press the source button, you sh your TV should be on TV mode. In my case, um, I am using HDMI, so it might be it might be different for you. So what you want to do is just click on screen mirroring mode, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything on your TV. Just let your TV be on the screen mirroring mode as uh, until we uh, actually mirror the uh, laptop to your TV. So just let it be, and that's it. All right, now on jump, let's just jump right into your laptop. So in my case, I'm going to be using Windows 10, just a simple laptop, right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure your laptop is connected to the same Wi-Fi connection as your TV is. By the way, if you want to know if your TV is connect, if your TV is supported, I mean, if your TV has screen mirroring or not, just go to this website. It'll help you out. All right, now what you want to do is go to settings, go to the devices, and now you don't have to do anything here. By the way, you'll be seeing quite a lot of devices. You might have a Bluetooth speakers, you might have Bluetooth uh, mouse, speak, uh, uh, keyboard, and all sorts of good stuff. So what you want to do now, we need to add a new device, all right? So just make sure your TV is still on the screen mirroring mode. That's really important. All right, so once you, make, once you have made sure that your TV is running on the screen mirroring mode, now what you want to do on your laptop is to the uh, add a new device, by the way. I'll just click right there. Once you click on the uh, add a new device, why am I not clicking? And there you go. All right. So once once you click on add a new device, it will show you a few options. So once you click on it, what you want to do is to add a wireless display. So just click on it and it will automatically show you your TV. In my case, I'm going to be using, I am using my Samsung. So you can see the Samsung. Uh, it might be different for you. You might be using TCL or Bravo, whatever your TV ha name is. So this is Samsung. Just click on it and uh, you can see the TV at the bottom. It, was, it is connecting to my laptop. So it might take a few tries for you because uh, at first it took me about four or five tries, by the way. So just I just restarted my laptop and it worked just fine so there you have it my laptop is now connected to my TV no cables no Chromecast wirelessly and really simple so if you have any questions just comment down below I'll get back to you as soon as I can soon as I can oh by the way if you uh, if you're not using extended mode which you want what you want to do is press Windows and P at the same time and you'll be uh, given some options right now I'm using extended uh, duplicate you can also use the extended uh, as your TV as a second monitor, that's pretty cool, right? So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need more info, I want you to go to this, to this website for more detailed article, articles. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.